what's wrong, Toby, and these are your Friday morning announcements. I'm here with Kayla and Casey, and welcome to our segment, Talks with Toby, where we highlight different student organizations here at West Monroe. How are you guys doing today? Good. So after having recent conversations with multiple universities in regards to powerlifting, how do you guys feel? Well, I'll be attending Midland University in Nebraska, and I'll be receiving a full scholarship, and it honestly feels really good knowing all my hard work has paid off. I've had multiple conversations with the University of Lafayette, and it feels great to know that my powerlifting career will not be over after high school. That's great. Congratulations, by Thank the way. You. So, Casey, how can other people join powerlifting? Well, we have many local gyms in West Monroe that you can just go get a membership and put in the work and try out in the summer. So, Kaylee, so are there any big events this weekend or next month sometime we should be interested in coming out to support? Yes, so this weekend, uh, this Saturday, we have our big regional meet at Russet and it starts at 9 o'clock where we will be competing head to head to qualify for our state meet which is at uh, ULM at, um, on March 25th. Well, you heard it folks, the big regional meet is Saturday and four weeks from now is the state meet March 25th at ULM and Right back to you, K-Rip. Go, Go Rips! Thank you, Toby. I'm Malia, and this is Jasmine, and these are your Friday morning announcements. K-Rip applications for next year are now available. To apply, please join the Google Classroom with the code YHTK4YW and complete the application. If you have any questions, please contact our very own Mr. Hall at his email dhall at opsb.net. Attention all students taking the ACT test here Tuesday, March 8, 2022. In order to take the ACT test that day, you will need some form of ACT test approved identification. This is a new step that is being mandated. Different demographic pages printed out on web pams are not an approved form of identification. Approved form of identification are a current driver's license or a learner's permit. If it has a picture on it, school issued ID card, passport, or the official ACT student identification form found online and in student services. We will not delay the start of the test for you to finish the form and get all the appropriate signatures. You must plan ahead to use this identification. Please read the directions completely. The student must attach a copy of a photo. They must fill in all student information and sign the form in the presence of a school official before the date of the test. You do not have to use a notary. The school's personnel must sign their name across the part of the photo in lieu of a seal. Then the student brings the form the day of the test and the student must sign the form a second time in front of a person who will be administering their ACT test, March 8th. Additionally, all students taking the ACT test are allowed to bring their own mouse to use on their Chromebook during the test. We will not provi provide a mouse to any student on the day of the test. You must bring your own and they can be wired or wireless. Students cannot share a mouse once the test begins. Attention students and parents, the ACT for 11th and 12th graders who have not yet taken the ACT test is scheduled here for March 8th on Tuesday at West Morrell High School. As a requirement for graduation, all students must take the ACT test. This administration of this test is free of charge to all students. You can find out more information about this on our website page, GoRebs.org. Click Parents and Students tab at the top of the screen, select Testing from the next screen that appears, and then select ACT Documents. Seniors, a representative for the May Day's Pelican Scholarship for graduating seniors will be here Monday to meet with any potential applicants for their scholarship. Any graduating senior that has a 2.8 GPA and is enrolled in the National Guard, Reserves, or will be enrolling in a RCC program at a Louisiana university needs to plan to meet. Please email your counselor so your name can be given to the representative. Attention students enrolled in AP courses. The deadline to finish paying off all your exam fees is March 18th. If you have not paid your balance in full or made payment arrangements with Mr. Lovelady by March 18th, there is a possibility that your exam will be canceled and you will not receive an AP credit designation on your high school transcript. Failure to take the AP test for the classes you are enrolled in also has the possibility of causing you to not graduate on time. Everyone's situation is unique. Make sure you understand how this will impact you. 
If you have any questions about payments or the March 18 deadline, please contact Mr. Lovelady at his email, ZacharyLovelady at OPSB.net. AP Club tutoring is back, but it will look a little different this spring. We will tutor core subjects on Mondays from 3 to 4 in room 4203. You can use the same QR code, but you must sign up by noon on Friday so we can assign subject-specific tutors for Monday. Leap U.S. History Tutoring will be in the library every Tuesday and Thursday from 3.15 to 4.15 for seniors and graduating juniors who will need assistance. Bring your Chromebooks. If you have any questions, see Coach Fallbacher in room 1201 for more information. And today for Black History Month, we would like to recognize an awesome man named James Meredith who was an American civil rights activist and author. From 1951 to 1960, he served in the U.S. Air Force. And in 1962, he was the first black African-American to attend the University of Mississippi despite adversity. Though out of his life, he continued to balance his education and his work of activism. He led the march against fear from Memphis to Jackson to protest the physical violence African-Americans faced. And this will conclude your Friday morning announcements. Go Rebs! Bye!